Hello, my posse. Hello, all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for coming to my living room today. I so appreciate you coming over. I am going to do for you today a really quick ah, wig review. I've had this wig since I think before the wedding. It wasn't one that I chose for the wedding, um, but I haven't worn it because I didn't want to wear it until I reviewed it. So if you want to see Jacqueline Smith's leading lady, stay tuned. So yeah, this I'm I'm reviewing today Jacqueline Smith's The Leading Lady, and um, we're going to compare colors in a second. So again, thanks for coming over. You know I so appreciate you when you come over to my house today. Got my camera angled a little bit differently today, so you're not just staring at my black TV <laughs> over there. <laughs> anyway, um, everybody's texting me today. I'm going to be swiping here. Um, yeah, I injured my leg. Go figure. I don't know how I did it, but yeah, I'm trying to learn how to walk on crutches. It's not going over so well. It's like, I feel like I'm 400 pounds walking on crutches. I just can't. I can't balance. And then they tell you to, when your leg's bad, the injured side to put your crutch, crutch on the other leg, not the injured side. Anyway, sidetracked. <laughs> So anyway, thanks for coming over. Today we're going to review puberty again. I don't know what I'm going to do or pretty soon. I'm going to be, I don't know where my voice is going to go. Anyway, yeah, we're, we're reviewing today Leading Lady, and it is Jacqueline Smith. And in the catalog, uh, she is 99, oops, 99.99. I don't think I paid... Yes, I did pay ninety nine for it. It's kind of kind of gone up a little bit. The pricing, all wigs everywhere have gone up, but um, these have gone up. I think the first sunset. This is sunset in caramelized brown. I think when I first bought her, I paid like sixty nine ninety nine for her. The sunset. I've got like four of them already. Um, so I'm going to show you the difference in color to me, I think. This is sunset caramelized brown rooted, and this one here is. Uh, caramelized brown rooted in leading lady and um this is her in the catalog and you know i'm going to be cutting bangs on her and uh, uh well i'll tell you her dimensions in a minute we'll take her out of the box this is the box i love jacqueline smith box i love this the way her hair falls here on these boxes i don't know i think this one is i want to say this is sunset on here but i'm not really sure which one that is but anyway i love the box that it, it comes in it just looks rich uh, I did take her out of the box. I took the net off. Oops. I took the net off because, like I say, I try them on because if there's a flaw in them, there's a rip in the netting or the color is just way off or something's wrong with it, um, I just send, I'll send it back. I won't even review it. I have not had that issue uh, probably in a long, long time, but I always like to try them on first because I don't want to waste my time or your time by saying, oh yeah, this one's got to go back because it's flawed because what's the point of reviewing it, right? So anyway, this is her, um, and I am in front of my big picture window here. I'm not sure I can get her outside today because I can't walk with my leg. If my husband makes it home, uh, I'll try to shoot something outside, but really this is in front of my big window and it's pretty, this, pretty close to the same. Now this one here, leading lady, it looks like a lot more, you can see that golden than this one. Although this one is older, uh, it's been worn a lot. Uh, and Polly Young's wigs lose their shine lickety split. That's why I tell you, don't even worry about de-shining de them because after a couple wearings, they just, they lose their luster pretty quick anyway. So I don't worry about the shine. But anyway, she is just a lot more goldeny this one here had a lot more auburny and this one here is more goldeny you know they all come in just different i mean the colors are me and one of my subscribers were just talking about that the colors are so different on each wig lately uh, uh pecan delight is the same way sometimes you'll get a lot of delight and sometimes you get a lot of pecan i don't know that a couple of them I got are really dark, and then a couple of pecan delights I got are uh, have a lot of golden through them. So it, it's a crapshoot. Like I said before, it's a crapshoot, girls. Um, but anyway, affordable pricing wigs. Like I say, you can't you can't beat them. And I think for all of you ladies who are just getting into wearing wigs and you're afraid to wear wigs and 
and you just haven't jumped yet uh, to spend the money, this is really a good way to start Polly Young wigs. Uh, for starting out on wigs, you cannot beat Polly Young's pricing. Uh, and their affordability makes it easy for you to get into the wig journey. So I am happy to be able to bring these to you because you should never be afraid to wear wigs or embarrassed or self-conscious because man, I'm telling you, they're, like I said, it's just the greatest thing since sliced bread. And I don't have like a medical issue or anything, but I'm telling you my own hair, you've seen it before and you go, oh, your hair is so nice. It's not really nice. It's very soft, very fine. Um, I got my father's hair. My mother's hair was really thick and curly and my sister got her hair. I got my dad's really straight, fine hair and my grandma was hair was the same. Her hair was all the way down to the back of her knees and she used to put it up in a bun on the top of her head and that's all she did. And it was so soft and I got that. So I'm a big hair girl. And so because I'm a big hair girl, wigs are fabulous for me because they're big without even fussing with them and you can just put them on. So we are, I'm gonna cut the tags off of her and like I say, she is oh. she is leading lady. She's 827 hashtag four, number four. That's rooted. And it is caramelized brown. So I'll I'll read you the lengths on her really quick. Uh her length is uh she's got a lace front, by the way. I, she does have a lace front. Love the lace front. I just wish they would make them ear to ear, but for the price, they're not gonna do that. Uh it is on the top. And anyway, she's three point seven ounces and i think the ounces pick up because of the length of it not because of the cap is any heavier it's just the length uh she's the caniculon fibers which are really great fibers she's got the extended neck her length is nine and a half inches her front sides and upper back are 11 inches the top and the crown are five and a half inches um as well as the nape she comes in 18 different colors so we're going to try her on i'll cut the tags off for you and i will try her on i will be cutting bangs in her when i put her on i i don't know where i'll get the bangs from but they gotta come somewhere because i don't wear them like this but i'll show you a couple of styles i'll show you a couple of styles uh without bangs so hold on <laughs> okay she has a really nice see what i mean about the bangs where i'm going to find them Hello? Dean? Hello? Where are you, Dean? <laughs> so she does have a nice lace front. Uh, it is really pretty, like so. Uh, she goes from, I think it's from pretty close to the ear tip. She has, I didn't show you the cap. It's the standard cap of Polly Young. Um, I'll try to show it to you later. It's got the Velcro tabs in the back, open wefting, lots of great uh lots of great stretch in the cap i love the cap she's you can see how golden she is uh in here and near my window she is really pretty the color fibers the coloring on her running through is just a beautiful with the with the rooting is really really pretty pretty like highlighted frosting it's really really pretty so if you did not want to cut the bangs and you wanted to wear her uh, let's see what you look like. Okay, that was just a couple of quick styles. You know, I am a bang person, but if if I could wear it and I felt comfortable with no bangs, the square hairband is really, 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 really a nice option. And clips, of course, are always your uh, great option. Now, if you wanted to wear her just like this and you didn't want to cut bangs, you just have to warm her up with your hands and get a direction, you know, if you wanted to wear her sexy like that. Hi, girls. What's up? You could do that and she'd be really cute. It would require you to just take the heat of your hands, or, or, uh, squirt her with a little bit of water and just keep directing her hair, you know, like so. And you know, you could even put her off to the side like that and put a clip in her like so. Her bounce, her beachy ways are really pretty to me. Um, oops, there's my comb. I don't really want to comb through them that much. I will 
John Renault pick them like so. I think she's really pretty. I like the color on her, actually. She is a little much more golden than my other uh, caramelized brown, but I really do like the color on her. Now for me, I have to figure out where that bang is going to come from and how I'm going to cut this, and I would not do it in front of you because I don't want to ruin her. But before I cut the bang, let me show you. Oops. <laughs> Let me show you, this is uh, my, wait a minute, this is my right side. <laughs> and this is the back. You can see how nice her waves are. Her waves are beautiful. And this is the left side. She's got a really, really, really nice wave. And like I say, I would love to have a wig where the, um, Oh, I look so rosy today. I would love to have a wig where the uh, lace front goes all the way down here. I'm sure they're out there for a lot more money. But, um, you know, the affordability of Paul Young wigs are what makes them very pleasing to all of us. And they are pretty it's when they're fresh, new. new wig, shiny, healthy. I, I love it. I could wear a new one every day, really, if I could afford it. <laughs> so so let me take her in the bathroom. Uh, I can't cut her bangs in front of you because um, I don't know where I'm going to go with these, and I don't want to ruin her. But boy, if I could wear her like that. And I'm sure some of you can. You look beautiful. And I know just the heat of your hands, you can redirect this up here and just do a little clips, and uh, she would be super, super cute really cute. So let me see what I can do with the bangs. If I can't do anything with them, then I don't know, maybe she'll be the first one I'll wear without bangs. So hold on a minute, girls. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm dropping this in the next day. Uh, here's the cap. It's got nice velvet band all the way around. Very, very comfortable. Great ear tabs on it. Here's the lace front. Very comfortable lace front. Doesn't itch. Um, temple to temple. Love the top. Lace on the top. It's got wefting through it, which allows for the permatees to be through. You can see there's about an inch of uh, rooting all the way around the wig, even underneath. It's a beautiful uh, rooting effect to this wig, and it's extremely stretchy and comfortable. Woo! <sighs> Let me tell you, girls. If you want bangs in this baby, you better take them to a stylist because this was difficult. And I think I'm pretty good at cutting bangs and styling because um, I did it for a living before. But this was really difficult. I mean, I was like shaken because I thought I'm ruining her. I just know it. But to try to find the line to where to get it, where to cut and not have it too thick because they kept bouncing up and not to cut in too much to the side it was really difficult. So I just stuck a clip back there for now and I did cut her and I did take a little bit of this brush. I wet the bangs and I redirected them because they bounced up from curl because they're used to bouncing up. So to redirect them, I had to do this and maybe go on this angle because they were bouncing this side. And yeah, it was not easy. And I did take them I did find a line and I pulled them together real tight and then I cut that off at the tip like I showed you before. And what that does when you release it, it frames your face that way. When you twist them and you cut them and you release them, it frames your face. But you gotta do it little by little by little because once you make that cut, they could spring up to here. Because it's happened maybe once to me before. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you don't want that to happen. That's why I do that. And then when you go in and they're, you find that they're like a little too blunt for you or something, then you can go in with the scissors and you can just cut into them a little bit to just give them a little shaggier effect. But this was not easy to do. Because the direction of this, I think, is made for uh, no bang. The way it's on her... Like so, that's the direction she's, I think, comes from the factory, wherever the factory is, the Paul Young's factory is. And that's the way she goes. But I think she's cute. You know, I, she is really much more orangey golden than my other caramelized brown, a lot different uh, color. I don't know what she has on in here. Hold on. Here she's got wildflower rooted. So she's 
pretty light, but you can see um, they're close. I mean, this is, yeah, darker, but this one's really light compared to my other ones. But I like the way she's sassy um, and she's like that. So you can see how she flows, how she bounces. I like that. I like the bounciness. I like the length. Uh, I think that's really cute. I don't know. Let's work on some styles. See what I can come up with. I don't know. Hold on. So that's pretty much, I think, what you can do with her. She made me sweat. I'll tell you, I think I'm sweating. I think, I think uh, my deodorant has failed me. <laughs> oh, she, I was like sweating doing this. I was like so afraid I was going to ruin it because, you know, it's a hundred bucks plus tax plus shipping plus COVID surcharge or whatever it is. So I was, yeah, I was really nervous. I think, I think her bangs are good though. I can probably... Uh, space them out a little bit more so they look a little bit more but because she's so light in color uh, the bang is a little heavier maybe than I would have cut but because she's so light in color up there it doesn't look so harsh I think if she was darker up on the top the bang is heavy it would be more harsh but I think she's I think she's really pretty and also on the top when you have some just part angles that you want to do uh, you can take pieces of your hair like so, and then another piece like so, and then another piece over on this side. And then you keep kind of doing that crisscross across the top. Uh, I, I'm doing it here on camera. Of course, it's going to look like a bird's nest, but <laughs> you can just kind of crisscross your hair up there. Take a little hairpin if you want to and hold it in and give like a nice little crisscross without braiding and causing any damage uh, to the synthetic uh, wigs. Because, you know, over time, you can only twist them and braid them, uh, these caniculon fibers, so much, and they're going to break down and they're going to look like, you know, a bird's nest. I mean, let's face it, because you can't, you know, you, they are synthetic. So when you get into playing with them and braiding them and twisting them and, you know, clipping. I clip in very easily uh, with them, gingerly, I should say. So I try not to break down the fibers, but, you know, it's hard when you uh, play with them and you want to do different styles not to break down the fibers. But I think Leading Lady, um, she not may not be really leading in my book. I think she's not too bad. I I don't think I would buy her again, but I do... I do like her. I do like the bounce. I do like her in my arsenal of wigs to have something different. I like the color. I think um, for uh, a seasoned, uh, as we call ourselves, or women of a certain age, uh, I think I think the color is light. It brightens our faces. You know, as we age, you know, we can't use the wear the dark hair that much anymore. It tends to really. Um, I don't know, it, it just makes us look older and harsher, I think, when your hair is just too dark. And I think as we age, we need to go a little uh, lighter. And I think this is the epitome of matured lightness, um, if I could say that. So I, th I do like the fresh look that she gives. I do, I if I would buy her again in um, caramelized brown and rooted, I'd probably get a different color. I bet you. I bet she'd be darker. But I do like her. I mean, I think she's really cute. She's in the style and the groove uh, today with this look and the bang. I think she has enough um, permatease in her to give her some nice volume in her and nice fullness, which you know I love. I have to have big hair because big hair and big shoulders, small butt. I've said it a hundred times there. I said it again. So anyway, I do like my big hair. So I think she's cute. Uh, like I said, I don't know if I'd ever buy her again. Um, I don't know. I'd have to wear her and see, uh, see what my hubby says uh, when he gets home. So I think she's cute. And I, like I say, the bangs, if you're going to get her and you do like bangs like me, you don't have to because she's got a really nice, you know, lace front. My 
dark hairs are probably showing through. Um, but she does have a nice lace lace front. And even if you like bangs, I like the lace front because, you know, when you're out in the wind and the wind blows them, you can't see that line across there. But yeah, I do like the lace front even with bangs. It's hard cutting the bangs because of the way, you know, she's stitched in there. But I did it. And, and like I say, these, when you want bangs on your hair and redirect your curl, this is this is a great gadget. I have this one and then the smaller barrel one, which I love for synthetic fi synthetic fibers, but you gotta put them on low because I've burned my other one uh, on high. I think I dried her out too much. So that is it. She's just really bouncy, really perky, really cute. If you're still working, she's a really cute work hairdo, um, soft looking. Uh, if you're going to Kroger's, she's a great style for Kroger's. <laughs> or Walmart or wherever. So I, yeah, I think she's really cute. And I, the, the more I see her, the more she grows on me. I don't know. I, I really like her. I'm, I'm trying to think, do I like her as much as I do Sunset? But as I look at her, I don't know. I think I do. I don't know. I like the curl pattern. I know that. So that's it for me, girls. I hope you have a beautiful day. I hope you enjoyed this review. This is Leading Lady by Jacqueline Smith, ordered through the one and only Polly Young. So thanks for coming by. I so appreciate you. Uh, I will see you again really soon. And uh, remember, be the eye in kind. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. <laughs>